My name is Bill Wydra, president of Ashland Technologies, located here in beautiful Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, just two minutes off 81. And we're going to show you how we turn metal into thrills. Whoa! All right, this is basically a dart assembly machine. One of a kind, there's only one of these in the world and it's sitting right here and we're going to actually be having an opportunity to test it today. Now what this machine will actually do is it's going to take this needle head and a variable length body and it's going to assemble them together. Now I told you later on we're going to actually shoot one of these darts out of a, out of a projector. But you can see there's different size uh, needles, there's different size bodies. So this, this will actually custom identify which body's in there, which needle's in there, and it will make whatever piece that's actually in there. So we're actually going to get ready to do the test right now. You can see up here, these are all the mechanisms that are going to be working to, uh, to grab all the different devices. Now it's starting to get the pieces. So basically there's one of the needles going in now. We just had one pop out. All right, I think that's our first official one coming off the line right there. So uh, this machine will probably be shipping later on this week and we're gonna be making another one just like it to do a different series of darts with actually plastic bodies. So we can basically custom design anything that you see here we can make. So if we go over here to the table, we're going to have the opportunity to see some of the other components that we make. You saw the first rifle we had, and I'm going to actually show you a little more close-up of that in a second. These guns are actually uh, sold by New Dart, the premier maker in the industry of, of projectors. So this actually has no internal charge into it. It actually is all driven by air. So this right here is where the air would go on. Now, the reason I was telling you earlier that we have a 70 tool changer, the reason that that's important is we basically used to make these components for, for this customer, and what we would do is we would make 100 of this. We'd then make 100 of this. We'd then make 100 of this and 100 of this. And you know, basically, the problem there was the fact that it would take us sometimes two and a half months just to be able to put together an entire set of 100 units. Well, what we've done, and the reason that the 70 tool changer is so important, is right now we turn out 16 different components off of that last machine you saw every four to four and a half hours. So basically, every four and a half hours, we're turning out a complete set of parts for a, right, for a rifle or a pistol. I think the rifle takes about four and a half hours, pistol takes about four hours. But you can see on this, there's just endless internal keyways in these parts. And and they take sometimes 45 minutes a cycle. So now we're actually able to include that into one setup, and while the guy is actually uh, running that, he now has the opportunity to run multiple machines because he has a longer setup. So moving down here to the rifle, this thing is just so cool. I mean, basically, this is, uh, this is equipped for bear. They're gonna have this on a TV show coming up soon where they're actually hunting big cats. Um, there's some, some big cat that got loose up in New York and they're going to be uh, tracking them with this. But it has a flashlight mechanism on it. It actually has a laser pointer on it that we can actually uh, do that. A lot of these rifles will be sold to different uh, deer farms and game preserves and things along those lines. Um, basically your, your pressure is controlled right here with your uh, knob. And then in the back here we can see what our pressure rating is. So that gives us the opportunity to be able to see what range it is. So if you're shooting a rhinoceros, you're gonna to wanna to have the pressure up a little higher than you might for a deer. And most of the times these aren't used to kill animals in any way, shape, or form. It's actually used to administer medicine to an animal. Um, you know, when you have a big open range of deer, it's very difficult to get up close enough to them to actually inject the medicine. So this is what allows them to be able to do that. These are sold again all throughout the world. Australia is a very, very big um, market for these particular type of, of units. This is a one of a kind in their industry. We used to actually make components for a 22 caliber rifle that we converted into an air gun, but now Blair, the uh, Blair Swords, the owner, just an incredible visionary, had the uh, foresight to come up with his own rifle. And uh, I applaud him for that, and we're more than happy to make them. Now we're gonna actually do a little bit of a test of these too. So uh, let's see what we got. 
All right. All right, so uh, what we're shooting here today, basically a uh, big bear here in Pennsylvania. And we have a successful shot. I hope you enjoyed our tour of how we turn metal into thrills. And uh, again, like I was saying in the laser room, you know, it really boils down to people. You know, certainly we love our games, we love our rides, and we certainly are real happy with our partners in the roller coaster industry, the gyroscopes, the basketball games, the dart guns, and all the different things that we make. But, uh, you know, without the people and some of the organizations that really have supported us through the years, we wouldn't be able to be here. So until next time, hopefully we'll see you in the park riding on some of our rides.